But the reason that we grew and progressed so so easy is because we didn't let for one outside influences affect us. Mm -hmm. It was us. We were getting to know each other. People had things to say. They can't tell you, you know, they can look at it from the outside, but they can't tell you, you know, how you feel on the inside to know whether you're going too fast. If I think that if I was going too fast, that I would be like, hey, I'm going too fast. So when it comes to a relationship, I always follow your heart. Mm hmm. And be cognizant that what you allow people to put in your ear, mm hmm. It can either send you the right direction or the wrong direction. It can put you guys against each other. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be you and your partner as mm -hmm. a unit. So if your partner's not doing anything wrong and not giving you any reason to doubt. Just because someone's talking. That doesn't mean you have to listen and engage with it. Mm -hmm. Tell them, miss me with that rap, Cletus. Made a couple M's with my best friends. Turned on my L's in the last hands. You see the whip pulling up, it's like screw. Dreams pulling up, I'm like screw. I'm living my best life. It's my birthday. At least that's what I'm doing. What up, fam? fam? And welcome back to our channel. I'm Deb. And I'm Jay. And the kids upstairs <laughs> tend to their vices. Today we are coming at you with a chicken and <laughs> ensalada gigante uh, mukbang today. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we post a video because that bell ain't ringing then your phone won't be singing so if you don't see those parentheses <laughs> on the outside of that bell that means you've done something wrong so we're going to need for you to make sure that you did that correctly so you'll be <laughs> notified every time we post a video and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and without further ado let's get into this video <laughs> all right guys before we even start stuffing our face today, what are you eating on today? How y'all doing today? Alright, see what we doing and how we doing it. We are actually working on our day off. Yes. We do we usually do not edit or record or anything on Sunday. I mean on Saturday. On Saturday. Mm-hmm. But we got something special tomorrow. So we figured why not give ourselves a little Celebratory <laughs> meal ahead of time. And we already eaten, so. Why, why not? not? Come on, have dinner with the fam. And I lied, y'all. I said barbecue, um, but it is not barbecue. It is oh. homemade based out. Oh, some of the chicken. chicken? Yep. It's some teriyaki type. I ain't gonna even say teriyaki. I honestly don't know. I just mix. It's a place for it to have separate use. Putting bones and plate, what you're trying to do. Oh, I got the place I'm supposed to have separate. Okay. Then y'all know we got that homemade ranch. Per usual. That's really why we having this meal. <laughs> to eat salad, to eat the ranch. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better get home. On their ranch. On everything. It be lit. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing for the holiday? Yes. Holiday. Everybody typically t tends to do the same thing. So what are you guys doing? Who barbecuing? What y'all barbecuing? And who are y'all invited to y'all barbecue? We are not barbecuing. No, I'm tired of barbecuing. I'm tired of really. We are not barbecuing and we are not having anybody over. <laughs> we having y'all. Our first holiday, y'all. Well, since what? Fourth. Christmas. We didn't really, really do anything on the fourth. I'm gonna That's take the made a video. Topic. We did. The first time that we would actually get a video, what we did? For the fourth? Neighbor shoot fireworks. Hmm? Mm hmm. We did not. Oh, well, I'm a second. We recorded a moot bomb. Yeah. And they were shooting fireworks outside. But we 
Mm-hmm, that shit can do. Baby, we can do anything for the fourth. I don't know why I felt like it was on the fourth. Mm-mm, it was on the day before the fourth. Mm-hmm. Because I remember they started shooting fireworks and stuff early. While we were trying to record a move on. Brandon this salad is so good. Mm-hmm. Got us some precious porch. Y'all ain't gotta hit it. Click, click. Mm. Today. <laughs> Once we're finished, from table to trash. <laughs> mm hmm. That too. So, they had a story time for y'all. about our anniversary. <laughs> well, one of our anniversaries. So, the official day that we got together was on the 19th, but... Of May. So, we met on the, well, we made it official on the 19th, but both of us had this thing about odd numbers, so <laughs> we said we were, we said it was gonna be the twentieth. Officially, it's the nineteenth, but we we'll go by the twentieth. So that's why we usually do something on both days. Because regardless of how we feel, mm -hmm. it still happened on nineteenth. <laughs> mm. I feel like I'm you. I'm her like. Three things drop. <laughs> it's down the hay that way. Mm-hmm. It don't want to jump on the fork. It want to jump off. Mm -hmm. I ain't dropping fork. <laughs> but how long we were talking before you asked me to be your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. On this 19th, 20th. What was it like? A week. Oh yeah. We were so with the WW mm Mushy -hmm. Gushy. We used to sleep on the phone. I'm talking about <laughs> work. From sleep to you woke to up. <laughs> It was so funny. Her job knows me when I call. I used to. <laughs> I used to work at CBS, and I was still when I didn't have customers. I'd be on the phone. My manager would have to tell me to get off the phone. <laughs> Deb used to be the mailman. I was out here delivering these mail, delivering these people mail and talking away. I can hear him. <laughs> I'm talking about his whole route. Day in, day out. On the phone. Yep. Fun times. And I get another stage that we were always talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. Because we lived a distance away. So, even though it was in the city, with our work schedules. Mm-hmm. By the time I got off work, I was trying to lay down, <clears throat> get ready to go to sleep. Because I had to be to work by six. Mm-hmm. And she used to I be off. I had to be at school. It would or eight. By now high school, college now. Mm-hmm. Have to be school by eight, then I get out and get home till about 11. 
We would just be on the phone all day. And I live all 30. Night. I live 35 minutes away with absolutely no traffic where you got free, completely free flow traffic and every stop like green. Outside, it was a good 40, <laughs> 40, 45 minute drive. So after that, being on that phone all the time, for the shoe, for really taking it for like a week straight, It was over with. It looks like us now. <laughs> that brings to the next thing, like. I'm about to say, how you, many, how many of you guys, your spouses, or relationship partner, when you started, you didn't think you were gonna be where you are today? Cause I'll be honest. Not saying that in a bad way, but... I didn't think I was going to have enough three kids. <laughs> One okay, two maybe. But three? <laughs> you told me that I said, you lying. Mm. Mm. Especially with this wonderful salad. <laughs> but... Mm -hmm. I knew you were too. So yeah. After that week of phone talking, we was like, let's make this official. Best decision ever. Mm-hmm. Cause even though that wasn't what I was expecting, it still turned out beyond right because like when you're looking for somebody when they actually come along you're not expecting it because you're being optimistic mm -hmm. you can know what you want all day long but it will be other people in your ear that talk you out of it And that was the scrap the the cra I can say scary and crazy at the same time. <laughs> that was the crazy part. I should have got both these chicken. You want some more? Mm -hmm. You can try some more. But he was literally everything I ever like thought of X for like it was so crazy it was like it was like he could read my mind or something not saying that you know everybody's not perfect but we are literally like yin and yang mesh perfect for each other like we said what video we said that um, that we do sometimes we be thinking we need yeah, to get a DNA yeah. test because we we think the same thoughts or I'll say something and he literally was like babe I was just finna say that or he say something babe right. I was finna say that we do it all day every day so as a woman you know you have this image in your head of what you want and what you wish for yeah I say this every day, I'm blessed because he is literally everything that I was asking for and looking for and that I really that I needed. So people around us didn't really agree with the pace, mm -hmm. the pace that we were going, but after that week of a, after that week of talking on the phone, we end up boyfriend and girlfriend, and then oh, what? We fast forward a little too far. What? We met and I cooked you dinner. Oh, that, oh, you trying to tell the story, story? But that happened before we made it official, though. That was a part of it. So, babe, pretty much want me to go back and tell y'all what made me say yes to be your little B. Yeah. <laughs> 
all that history. So now, I don't know if I've said this in any other videos, but I used to call Bay fancy. I'm I'm a basic girl. Chicken. <laughs> pretty much see. pretty much small things. I really eat anything. But if you invite me to his house for dinner. And this man told me he was gonna cook some duck. <laughs> I can still hear. Yeah, right in my head. Duck! duck. I didn't time. even know you could eat duck. Like, <laughs> I had never heard of that ever before. I'm like, what that taste like? Chicken. I'm scared. She I was scared. Time, her face frowned duck. When I said duck, her sister was right there. Duck. He can't cook. I'm gonna cook <laughs> some duck. So it was duck, homemade mashed potatoes, and broccoli. <laughs> and that duck was so good. It tastes like you said, like chicken. <laughs> but I was just so not, I don't even know what's about to say, amused, fascinated. That somebody cook with cook that for me. So I can't really say it's what won me over, but it was just real touching and real sweet. Cause he could have cooked anything y'all, some duck. Come on, he could have been ratchet. Because I'm a homebody. So that was our first date. We known each other what, two days? Mm-hmm. We have pretty much been, we, <laughs> ever since we had exchanged numbers, we text for like that first day. And when I got her work, we were like bump this texting. On the phone. And One day. Yeah, and we haven't we didn't <laughs> on the phone. A week straight. Then, like he said, girlfriend, boyfriend. This shit don't even do that. But I'm getting full if I'm eating my salad. That's why I started it. <laughs> so, about how long are we dating? Was it like? Before we got married? Mm-hmm. Six months, three weeks. Okay, I did skip a part. All yeah. right, guys, we had to check on we had to check on the babies, and the camera died. So nice little break. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I had to back months. up on the story before. Well, after <laughs> pretty much after we was boyfriend and girlfriend, we met when it was May. 19 slash 20th. We got engaged to what? July. July. 20 what? But. Okay, this the one I always forget. 20 something. <laughs> 20 something. Mm -hmm. 27? Yep. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> That's another number story, y'all. That's and this is the best time to remember. See, Everything is a 20 something. I can't. I All can't. the kids' birthdays, <laughs> except for Alex. Literally, we have 24, 25, 26, 27. Mm -hmm. And he's eight. <laughs> so we got engaged July 27. Okay, I think I'm going to remember this time for real. Because we still on video. Drew -drew. And Drew Drew. Yes, Drew Drew 27. I was just about to say, I can't. You, I don't know how I forgot that. You remember it when it counts. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> when is it? 27? <laughs> Couldn't go down like that on the video, G. <laughs> and you usually, you usually dancing around it. What was it? Um, um, 
Not that time. That was a low key confidence. Oh, I know this time. <laughs> I wasn't even positive. I knew it was 20 something. We got engaged, met May, engaged July, married December. <laughs> that was the fastest relationship. I just spit. Sorry. I can it. You two? Mm -hmm. Both of us? Fastest relationship ever. And we promised you guys, everyone around us was just like. Mm. Y'all crazy. Y'all are crazy. You don't know him. <laughs> and then some of the same people started trying to do the same things because that's how we were progressing. But the reason that we grew and progressed so so easy is because we didn't let for one outside influences affect us. Mm -hmm. It was us. We were getting to know each other. People had things to say. They would say it. I feel like you know how you hear somebody and you just pretty much entertaining them because they're talking. But outside that. Because you, they can't tell you, you know, they can look at it from the outside, but they can't tell you, you know, how you feel on the inside to know whether you're going too fast. If I think that if I was going too fast, that I would be like, hey, I'm going too fast. You know? So when it comes to a relationship, I always follow your heart. Mm-hmm. Because honestly. And be cognizant that what you allow people to put in your ear. Mm-hmm. It can either send you the right direction or the wrong direction. It can put you guys against each other. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be you and your partner as mm -hmm. a unit. So if your partner's not doing anything wrong, and not giving you any reason to doubt. Just because someone's talking. That doesn't mean you have to listen and engage with it. Mm-hmm. Tell them miss me with that rap, Cletus. <laughs> I trade you a roll for one of your pieces of chicken. Oh, you! I bet you you can have one of my chickens. Which one do you want? I'm about to say which one would you like. I don't know. I kind of want the taste of that. Which one you want? Okay, <laughs> We talk about it all the time, like looking back, if I had to listen to outfly, outfly, outside, outside influences. influences. Oh, I don't think fans. We wouldn't be as strong. I still don't think they know our age gap. I was going to say something. I was going to say because our age play a part too. We're going to tell you the fans. <laughs> How about say we're gonna say But tomorrow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we could tell them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, we ain't. We're gonna go on and tell them. At the end of this video? They already <clears throat> yes, we can say it again. Shoot. They already know how old I am. I had a birthday vlog. They just really don't know how old you are. We'll tell y'all this. There Comment is. Down below. Mm -hmm. What you think it is? I was gonna tell them how many years it is between us. I don't ask how many I thought it was. Then tomorrow we're gonna tell them. Okay. Comment down below if y'all can guess how many years what how many years we are mm -hmm. apart. Uh oh. But anyway, after age, age played a factor. It kind of did and it kind of didn't. Cause it was, a lot of stuff was new to me. But oh. communication is key. So it don't matter really what our age was. As long as we were like communicating on the same page, 
I think that's what made us work so well. I was gonna say. We have disagreements, but we've never really been completely on the we on opposite pages. And then our arguments back then were really because I, but, our people. Mm -hmm. And because I didn't want to li listen to what you were telling me. But I mean, that's another thing that helped us is because, hey, as long as it wasn't going to physically hurt you, I had to let you fall. So that mm -hmm. nobody could say that you would manipulate anything like that. Some of the stuff that happened, mm -hmm. you had to experience it so that when you made that decision, if anybody said anything and you said it, you could be wholeheartedly honest. Mm hmm. Because you told me stuff, or you tell me how somebody was, and I'll just be like, kind of like this you could know somebody all your life but when somebody else gets like the outside view they can kind of see you like man that person ain't on your team that person is on your team different vantage points or i would do stuff like he would tell me something and i would freaking <laughs> don't do this this is such this is a big no-no, but I had to learn, so I ain't got no problem with telling y'all. He would tell me something, and I would go and like ask my mom or tell my mom just to just to see what she would say. And if she said the same thing he said, then I was like, okay, cool. But if she said something different, I would be like, mm, yeah, in the middle. When really he's my husband, I'm supposed to be. But it's what he say. So, don't don't have people in your relationship. Communication, fam. Communication. Mm -hmm. Because <clears throat> that's the thing. No matter how much you love a person, it's kind of like this. Words. Once you say a word, you can't take it back. Which is just the same, like emotions. When you give your emotions and you give yourself to someone. No one outside you and that person, even that person, no matter how much you love somebody, <coughs> excuse me, that person will never know the depth of your love. You can always convey it, but they never will know as deep as it is as you. So, you know, with, with you being with somebody, nobody else can tell you about that person because they're not in their body. It's just like your mm -hmm. life. You got to live your life for you. You can take objective opinions, but you don't have to do what other people say with your life because at the end of the day, when you close your eyes, you think about the kind of day you've had. You think about what you've gone through that day, not anybody else. Mm -hmm. That's why I was at. I always listen to your heart. Because my heart is what got me here. Because if I had been listening to my head, and people, I would have lost it. Mm -hmm. I would have lost out on something good. Yep. So I, I people, love my baby. And I'm fine. I had people talk about her age, and I was like, okay, that's cool. It's a number because I've dated somebody age that's is 10 years really older a than number. me and still is more immature than me. Age is nothing but a number. So, Let me tell you how I know age is just a number. Cause I bet half of y'all can't even guess how old we are. Nope. Yeah, it ain't nothing but a number. I know we look all young and <laughs> black don't crack, you know. <laughs> but a rum. <laughs> but we either older or younger than you think. Mm -hmm. So we gonna see what y'all think. <laughs> But we ain't gonna hold y'all too long because we really were just, not even supposed to be recording. Nah, I was just bumping my gun while Bay was finishing her food. I'm getting full. I think I was just eating because you were talking. <laughs> we well, might as well finish your salad in your, in your thigh. But as long as you guys work together as a unit, 
there's nothing that you can't accomplish. You have to remember that even the even religion in the Bible says when you have a spouse, you are supposed to cleave to your spouse. It does not say your brother, your sister, your grandma, your auntie, your niece, your nephew, you no, know, none of that. It says cleave to your spouse. So that means that you guys are supposed to be trying to grow together and you guys can't undermine and second hand second guess each other. You gotta work as a unit because if you don't, plant seeds of doubt. But see, that's something that I didn't know. A lot of things I had to learn along the way. I didn't really know about marriage and like that. So pretty much when I'm doing it, I'm not thinking that it's, you know, undermining. I was gonna say, I mean, it, but that, that's what anything though, it's, it's a learning curve. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we never had any, all, we never had any all out of anything. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that, a lot of stuff that happened with allowing you to make your, with allowing you to make the decisions and you see things for yourself, it didn't affect mm -hmm. us as much as it really affected you because now a lot of times you think about like man i wish i would listen i wish i wouldn't have done that i wish i would have done this yep that's a lot of the, what happens now and nine times out of ten the stuff that you're thinking about it ain't even in the back of my mind because you know like you knew i had to learn <laughs> well no i mean like a lesson that you got with you getting it, it hit you hard because one, we already had talked about it and you still went out and did the same the same thing that you had to learn the lesson. So yeah. when you learned that lesson, it hit you two times cause like, man, I should've listened to my husband. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, told me. wow, now you also hurt because of the situation that happened. And I could've avoided all the other. Yep. So sometimes, you know, like, not, not sometimes, you know, cause your spouse, true spouse they gonna have your best interest at heart and if you're married to somebody or if you're in a relationship with somebody you do not believe they have your best interest at heart run mm -hmm. because that means y'all y'all ain't gonna make it if you don't feel like they have your best interest at heart mm -hmm. well base finish eating <laughs> and we gonna stop chatting y'all deals off mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope y'all enjoyed our little mini story time little glimpse into us <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat us too bad for not eating the bread. I'm probably gonna eat some salad. I was gonna say I had them croutons. That was a big salad. Mm -hmm. I'm full. Well, I'm not. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> well, let's hurry up and get out of this camera. Okay. Happy Saturday, y'all. We hope you guys had a great Saturday. And we hope you have a good holiday. So <laughs> Until next video. I have to say, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with at least one person you know. And until next <laughs> video, fam. Love, love you guys. guys. I guess we'll let y'all go. Until next video. You know I had to send you. You gotta get it in, boy. I couldn't even reach <laughs> the camera fast enough. Bye, y'all. <laughs>